In today's video, we will be recreating the natural habitat of the Monocentropus balfuri, the Socotra Island blue baboon. As the name states, this species originates in the desert island of Socotra in Yemen. So making this terrarium was a little challenging because it is a little different than our tropical terrarium setups, but nevertheless, it was a good learning experience, so enjoy. For this build, we will be using this DIY acrylic enclosure that I have made. It is 5x5x7 five by five by inch and I think this is going to be the perfect size and it has enough space for our Monocentropus belfuri as well as the decorative plants that we add. So let's get started. For substrate, we will be mixing two parts of coconut fiber, two parts of organic compost with peat moss and four parts of exoterra yellow desert sand. Then we're going to take this neat little tool and mix it up thoroughly. Because this is a desert terrarium, you don't necessarily have to have a drainage layer because we are not going to be watering it regularly. But it's always good to have, especially for the long-term health of your bioactive terrarium. So in this one, we're just adding Lika. You can buy this at any uh, garden stores. They are really cheap and they're essentially just clay pebbles that absorb water more effectively. So now we're going to start adding our substrate into our terrarium. This mixture provides the right nutrients for plants to thrive in. And so I will be spreading this out evenly to create a nice layer of foundation before we place our hardscape. So I found this piece of spiderwood laying around in my supply bin and I knew I had to use it. Just the shape of it is what exactly I visualized in my head for this build. And I think this is going to be the perfect addition for the burrow that it's going to be in. So I'm just going to lay it around and until I found the position that I'm satisfied with. And just like that, I like, I like this position a lot. So now I'm going to add more substrate just around it and create um, miniature hills, so to speak. And I'm just going to keep adding, adding to the back of it because I want like a, like a mountain over it, kind of, kind of like the Hobbit, how they have that entrance and then there's a hill above it. That's pretty much what inspired me to make this build, but of course in a desert style theme. And I just love the way the Embel furries, how they web up and create these pockets of entrances. So I'm hoping they would create around the holes I'm making right now for them. So I'm really excited guys. Originally I was gonna get a communal of Embal Furries, but they're not coming till March. So we're gonna have to make another one like this. So I also found this cool looking piece of cork bark and I figured I should just add it here. Uh, I'm gonna place it directly opposite of where the spiderwood is and I'm gonna make a bunch of cave entrances to encourage the uh, Embo furries to web up. Now I'm just gonna take this extra desert sand that I have and pour it on the surface. I just wanna make it look more like a desert. That's why I'm doing this and I made a mistake of putting too much at the front but that's not a problem. We're just going to scoop it out and add it to the back. Slowly but surely she's finally coming along. I'm really liking what it's turning out to be. And the reason why you see me tap on the substrate is just to add a fine line of details. So now it's time to add our plants. Uh, I'm going to be adding this succulent. And funny story is the brown part you see is it's actually it withered away but it started growing again after a while so I'm placing it here and hopefully it gets a chance at a new life. And before we do that we're going to add this sphagnum moss just for moisture. I'm hoping it helps keep some humidity especially because it is a dry climate.
The next plant we're going to be adding is this Haworthia. This plant was actually growing in my bathroom, but it wasn't doing so well because of the low lighting. So I hope it does well in this enclosure. Now we're just going to be adding a bit more detail so I'm going to take this piece of spider wood and place it where I think it would look the best and I think I've decided with this, uh, this positioning so yeah it's coming along and now I'm going to take these stones and I'm gonna place it wherever I see fit. So now I'm just going to give it a light mist to help settle everything down before we add our tarantula. Alright, so now at the moment you've been waiting for, it's finally time to rehouse our Emba furry. As always, when you guys are doing this, please be cautious because since this is an old world tarantula, these are very fast, so just be prepared. And I hate doing this every time I'm rehousing, I'm destroying their enclosure because they worked so hard for it. But you know what? It's getting a brand new naturalistic enclosure, so I hope she feels right at home. Come on, little guy. Time to go to your new home. Oh, see how fast that was? That was crazy. I haven't figured out a name for her yet, so if you guys have any ideas, please leave it in the comment section down below. As always, if you guys enjoy this video and want to see more content, please consider subscribing as it can definitely help grow our channel. So I'll see you guys in the next one.